welcome to mathematics tour this is the second video out of the eight videos on fractions decimals and percentages if you are seeing this channel for the first time please kindly support me by subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive a notification anytime i upload a new video in this video i will show you how to write a fraction as a decimal number and as a percentage in primary and lower secondary, you were taught how to use long division method to write a fraction as a decimal number. Here, I will apply an advanced form of it. So before you, you have a question. We are asked to write each of the following fractions as a decimal number. To do this is very simple. So you just have to say 5 goes in 4. That is uh, impossible. So you put zero here and a decimal point then immediately you add zero to this four then it becomes 40 then you can now say five goes in 40 that is eight times as five times eight gives 40 so and there is no remainder so it means four out of five as a decimal number is 0 0.8 then let's go to the second one three goes in one that is impossible so you write zero here and a decimal point then immediately you add zero to this one that becomes 10 3 goes in 10 that is 3 times as 3 times 3 gives 9 so that means we have remainder 1 so here you continue to add zero to the remainder okay so let's add zero to 1 that becomes 10 so 3 goes in 10 that gives 3 as 3 times 3 is 9 so we still have remainder 1 so you add 0 again 3 goes in 10 that is 3 times remainder 1 if you observe very well this is a recurring decimal number so 3 keeps on showing up so you cannot continue to do that so what you need to do is to put a sign of ellipsis here that is 3 dots to show that 3 is a repeated digit and so let's go to the third one you have 6 out of 25 as a decimal number so what you need to do here is still the same steps we've been taking 25 goes in 6 that is 0 time because it's impossible then you put a decimal point here then you add 0 to 6 that becomes 60 25 goes in 60 2 times because 25 times 2 is 50 then you have uh, 10 as your remainder so don't forget that you continue to add 0 to your remainder so our remainder here is 10 so let's add 0 to it it becomes a hundred 25 goes in a hundred four times so that means 6 out of 25 as a decimal number is written as 0 0.24 so next is how to write a fraction as a percentage so we are asked to write each of the following as a percentage. To write a fraction as a percentage, all you need to do is to multiply by a hundred percent, okay? So one out of four as a percentage will be one out of four, then times a hundred percent. So four goes in four once, four goes in a hundred, 25 times. So that will be, 1 by 25 percent so that means 1 out of 4 as a percentage is 25 percent so the second one we have 6 out of 25 times a hundred percent so 25 goes in 25 once 25 goes in a hundred that is four times so we have six times four percent left that would be 24 percent so that means 6 out of 25 is same thing as 24 percent then the third one here we have a mixed fraction or a mixed number so the first thing you need to do is to write it as an improper fraction by multiplying 5 by 1 that is 5 times 1 5 then 5 add 4 that is 9 so that means this is the same as 9 out of 5 so we can now say 9 out of 5 multiplied by a hundred percent so 5 goes in 5 once 5 goes in a hundred that is 20 times so we have 9 by 20 
percent so that will give us a hundred and eighty percent so that means one to four out of five is the same thing as one hundred and eighty percent if you observe very well you will see that we've been able to write a vulgar fraction as a decimal number and as a percentage now i'll show you how to write a decimal fraction as a decimal fraction in form of a numerator and a denominator yes you add me very well take for instance two out of 10 is a decimal fraction in form of a numerator and a denominator hence a vulgar fraction cannot have its denominator as a power of 10. the following are not vulgar fraction 3 out of 10 4 out of a hundred 5 out of a thousand they are decimal fractions because the denominators are power of 10. so any fraction whose denominator is a power of 10 cannot be regarded as a vulgar fraction so it will be regarded as a decimal fraction so if you look at these examples 2 out of 3 5 out of 7 8 out of 9 and so on and so forth fractions like these are referred to as vulgar fractions but once the denominator is a power of 10 then it is referred to as a decimal fraction on the next page i will show you how to write a decimal fraction as a decimal fraction in form of a numerator and a denominator that is if you have 0 0.2 which is a decimal fraction okay in form of a decimal number then how can you write it as a decimal fraction in form of a numerator and a denominator something like this okay. 0 0.2 is a decimal fraction in form of a decimal number and 2 out of 10 is a decimal fraction in form of a numerator and a denominator so on the next page i will show you how to write a decimal fraction of this form as a decimal fraction of this form write each of the following as a decimal fraction so the first one is 0 0.5 0 0.5 is also a decimal fraction but in form of a decimal number so we want to write it as a uh, decimal fraction in form of a numerator and a denominator so what you need to do is very simple you write the number then underneath the decimal point you put one there then you count the number of zeros or the number of digits you have after the decimal point that will tell you the number of zeros you need to add to this one so here i have only one digit okay which is five then i'll add one zero to it that means um 0 0.5 is the same thing as five out of ten okay and i can reduce this so that means 0 0.5 is equals to five out of ten and i can reduce five out of ten to be in the simplest form by dividing the numerator and the denominator by five five goes in five once five goes in ten twice so it's same thing as one over two that so means 0 0.5 is the same as one over two so let's go to the second one you have 2.43 so underneath the decimal point you put one there then you count the number of digits you have after the decimal point here we have one and two so we have two so that would be um two zeros so if you look right if i look into the numbers and that means i'm going to have 243 out of a hundred so that is what i will have here two four three out of a hundred so the last one will be 32.5 32.5 underneath the decimal point let's put one there then we have one digit after that decimal point so we have to add a zero to this so that means this will be the same as three two five out of ten so that is what we have here and we can reduce it to its lowest form because five can go in the two so five goes in 32 that will be six times okay remainder two mm -hmm. put the remainder two here so that makes 25 five goes in 25 five times that will be 65 here then five goes in 10 that will be two times 
okay so that means we have 65 out of 2 okay so let's go to the next page so we want to see how we could write a decimal fraction as a percentage so this is um, very simple all you need to do here as well is to multiply by a hundred percent but in this case we'll be uh, shifting the decimal point so you have 0 0.05 okay so we want to write it as a percentage you have to multiply by a hundred percent okay so in um primary and lower secondary you were told that whenever you are multiplying by uh, a power of 10 you have to shift the decimal point to the front according to the power of 10 you have so here i have a hundred so that is with two zeros that means i have to shift this decimal point two times i have 0 0.05 so when i multiply it by a hundred percent that means i have to shift the decimal point forward two times because i have two zeros and there this is 10 to the power of two so that is two zeros so it will be one and two that means i'm going to have 5.0 percent which is the same thing as five percent so the same thing here i have 0 0.45 times a hundred percent so that will be all right let's write it here 0 0.45 so you shift the decimal point to the front two times one and two that means we have four five point zero percent that is 45 percent then the last one we have 2.4 times a hundred percent okay so we have 2.4 you have to shift the decimal point to the front two times one and two okay but this is empty so you need to fill it up with zero so that means you have 240.0 percent which is the same thing as 240 percent so i hope you enjoy this video so watch out for the third video out of the eight videos on fractions decimals and percentages